Hi everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So I wanted to do a video with our Mazda MX-5 and I just wanted to tell you how much I love this car. It is so much fun and so awesome. Not only the really, really cool red rims that of course match the bottom of my Christian Louboutin shoes, which is still totally awesome, but we love the fact that it is a convertible. It has been a really, really fun car for me to perfect learning how to drive a stick shift and really, you know, just tooling around town, going to work, going out to dinner and stuff like that with the top down is really, really awesome and really, really fun. So I just wanted to do a little video and kind of talk to you, let you know why we haven't taken it out on the track and why we haven't um, been doing the drifting that we had talked about. One of the reasons for that is we're concerned about safety. So with this being a soft top convertible, we're concerned that if doing these tricks and things like that, if the car flips, that we might not have the safety that we need, the roof that we need, and so we've just decided at this point to just kind of um, keep it as an around town fun car and take it out from time to time. Trust me, I have fun in it. It carves canyons. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> but super fun. we don't film stuff that's illegal. No, we don't. So, another thing that I wanted to talk to you about and tell you about with a car like this and the clutch, there are a lot of guys that start thinking that maybe their clutch has gone out and they right away just take their car to the shop, they end up having to pay $1,300 to get it fixed when that might not ne be necessary. So, if you're in your car and you are pumping on the pedals and you're starting to feel Demonstrate. Like, okay. So if you pump on the brake, for example, after a few pumps, it starts to feel like your brakes have gone out. Like you don't have any brakes um, if you were to start driving the car. And it's the same thing with the clutch, the same type of feeling. So I just kind of wanted to explain that a little bit to you. You can explain this? Yeah. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> so in the engine compartment, there is something called the master cylinder. The master cylinder um, has brake lines attached to it that go to the brakes um, and brake fluid is running through those lines. So when you engage or press on the brake, it puts pressure on the brake pads which stops the car. Well, it's something very similar with the clutch. There's something called, it's another cylinder, sometimes called like a slave cylinder. And so when you en engage the clutch, that as well will put pressure and that is what engages and makes the, allows the car to change gears. So if you start feeling like for some reason your brake or your clutch are out, once you start the car and actually drive it a little bit, everything should start working again and you should start feeling like the clutch is actually engaging and everything's working. So give it a little time before just running off and taking it to the shop because Obviously, if you take it there, they're going to fix it and they're going to charge you $1,300 when that might not, not even be necessary. Especially um, in the extreme case, the slave cylinder will probably go out on this car before the clutch goes out. So if you think your clutch is bad, check your um, clutch cylinder. It's a hydraulic system also. Yeah. And it's probably not disengaging uh, the clutch properly. So, Anything else you want to tell them about? I just wanted to tell everybody how much I love this car. It's so much can fun. You, can you push the clutch with this, with those shoes on? Of course I can. You have to slide this. See, That's a wrong foot. Oh, I can't. I was trying to make Well. It so you could see my pretty shoes. Can you drive it with those shoes on? I don't think so. I could if I had to, but I generally would take my shoes off actually. So when I'm taking this car to work, because I'll usually take it to work about one time a week, and so I drive to work with the top up because it's still a little bit chilly in the mornings. I take my heels off, wear my flip-flops to drive, or some sort of sandals that are flat so that they're really easy to drive in, and then put my high heels on when I get to work, and then when I'm coming home, I do the same thing. But coming home, the top is down because it's usually the perfect temperature, perfect time of day. I come home, sunglasses on, top down, flip-flops on, ready to start the evening. All right, so, so this car, um, 
the engine is just a four cylinder engine and it has just about uh, 200 horsepower. It's a two liter engine, maybe not quite 200 horsepower in it. But the car is really light, just a little over 2,000 pounds. So it is quick. I um, think of it like I had a Mustang GT in the 80s that had about 200 horsepower, maybe 210 horsepower. And I really thought that car was fast back in the 80s. But the car was heavy. The car was probably 3,500 pounds. So if you think, that's my comparison, is this car is pretty darn quick, pretty darn light. It's like a go-kart, handles on a dime. is really fun. Yep. So do you think you could put this car away? Sure. And we'll end the video. Yeah. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> I gotta do some adjusting here. See, this car fits her. Me, I'm torso man. I'm six feet tall. So it's hard for me to fit in this car, too. We'll probably keep it another year. We just paid for the tag, so we'll probably keep it for another year. But this was a great car for her to learn on um, before we spent money on a powerful car. So this is great. Look at that, smooth as glass. We'll see if she can put it away. Don't stall. Don't hit the mirror, you did it. Don't hit my toolbox. All right, come out and end the video. I took my shoes off, because I don't want to get my heel, my real reason, is I don't want to get my pretty heels scratched up or caught on the rug and then they break off. Oh my gosh, it would be heartbreaking. So, thanks so much for watching our awesome video. We just wanted to give you an update on our really cool MX-5 and just let you know how much we really love it. So if you're interested in a little car like this, we highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this video and all of the information I had for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Got anything else to say? Yeah, teach your wives on something less expensive before you go and buy her the Ferrari. Yeah. And let her break that car, in the Mazda instead, which she hasn't, so no. it's great. All, all right. right, see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.